Hey everyone, happy Saturday. This is just gonna be a short video today. I have been swamped with coaching, so I'm not gonna have time to do a real full length video, but I wanna make sure that I am keeping everyone up to date with the May fasting challenge. Today is day 202 of my fasting journey, my health and wellness journey. That's over 200 days of being consistent. That's seven and a half months of showing up, being accountable, doing these rolling water fasts. And later tonight, I'll be completing my eighth consecutive 65 plus hour fast for the month of May. This morning, I weighed in at 140.2 pounds, putting me right in the middle of my maintenance range. It's really interesting for me because the first five or six 65 hour fasts I did for the month of May, my weight was not moving whatsoever. Now all of a sudden it's starting to shift down and I haven't done anything different. I'm still eating six, 6,500 plus calories, still going for my walks, still going to the gym. So I don't really know what else has changed. Fasting has stayed the same. This is for me, the way I think about it is me trusting the process me knowing that what I'm doing is working, so I'm just gonna keep doing it despite what the scale says. My clothes fit good, I feel like I look good, so I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing because I know it works and it's showing. This is also the lowest weight I've been since April 7th, and that was the day I had gone on my 10 day vacation. But this also goes to show that I don't have to keep doing 90 hour fasts to lose weight. I can do 65s, and even though it takes longer, to get the weight off. Doing them is a lot more mentally, mentally relieving for me because I get to eat once every three days instead of once every four days. And I'm honestly in no rush to lose a ton of weight because I'm already in my range. Now I know it might be surprising for some, especially people who might be new to my channel, to be like, you're only losing this much weight doing 65 hour fasts and you've done them how many times? But that's because I eat five, six, sometimes 7,000 calories per refeed during a four hour eating window. I tend to eat a lot of calories. For someone like you, if you're doing a 65 hour fast, as long as you're not eating as much as I am, you should probably be getting better results when it comes to losing weight on the scale. Mind you, even with these 65 hour fasts, I'm still walking about five, six, maybe even more miles a day, some days more. Lately, I have been riding my bike a lot. So maybe that's been the additional thing is riding my bike, but sometimes it's only for an extra half hour or so. I'm still lifting weights to go to the gym. It's just, I know it's surprising for people to see me do all of that and fast for 65 hours and only lose this, I guess, little amount of weight. But that is why I was doing 90 hour fasts because that is my fasting number. That is what gets me to lose actual weight on the scale. For you, you're gonna have to do trial and error and figure out what works. That's really all I have for today because I still have some coaching to do and then I am going out for dinner. I'm gonna do hot pot tonight, so I'm really excited for that. I'm just excited to break in general. And then after that, I have two more fasts to do for the month of May to do 10 in a row and that will complete my May fasting challenge. Please let me know how you are doing in the comments. Show some accountability, show some transparency in what you're doing. Be honest with yourself. Like I said, today is day 202 of my fasting journey. Tonight, when I will be breaking my fast, that will be 60 completed fasts in a row, 60 of them since I started 202 days ago. I went ahead and I averaged all of these fasts and it came out to 75 plus hours. So in the seven plus months of doing this, I have on average been fasting for 75 hours again and again and again. That's including some really lengthy fasts in there when I was fasting for close to a week and then really short fasts like when I went on a 10 day vacation. And really that's me trying to push imperfect consistency. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be consistent. Yeah. I have done really lengthy fasts and I've also gone on a 10 day vacation and I've had super short fasts with super long refeeds. I've gained weight, I've lost weight, but in the end, overall, if you look at the bigger picture, I'm still averaging a very lengthy, healthy fast to the point that I have lost all the weight that I had gained gotten to my goal weight and now have maintained it for over two months. It is about finding balance and figuring out what works for you. If you're looking for additional help and need one-on-one -on -one coaching, I do offer that fasting, weight loss, and accountability coaching. You can find the link in the description. I will see you in the next one.